everyone. Today we are at the Hard Rock Hotel here in Universal in Orlando and we're gonna try out something different and we're at the kitchen. Um, so we're gonna try it out, see how good it is. Come on over. see that they have the buffet which is all included all these goodies or you can actually have stuff like off of a off of a selected menu but we decided to go with the buffet which is what we came here for today and one thing that we did add on here was the rockstar add-on which for $25 you get unlimited mimosas and bloody marys as well as house sangria so uh, we actually went with that because we find that if the mimosas are 15 bucks each and if this is for 25 minutes unlimited, it's going to be no problem for Gilda. We'll be able to drink at least two, and I'll be able to drink at least more than one little sangria. So we went with that add on. So it's buffet style, but they, ser they serve it to you. They have somebody that comes in and you tell them, give me this, give me that, give me the other thing. So that's how it works. Um, I haven't yet tried the omelet station, but that would be next. The mimosas have arrived. Let's see uh, Gilda give it a try first. That is heavenly. Oh, that is miss. so good. On point. And then here's my plate. I just grabbed the basics. Just like Gilda later, I'll be grabbing, uh, we're going to go to the omelet station to make something, make something special for ourselves. Is, um, the middle station is a griddle station and it's also the omelet station. If you want the griddle, you go this way. If you want the omelet, you go that way, okay? Um, and so I got chocolate chip pancakes to try something new. Bacon. Of course, my favorite potatoes, croissant, and banana bread. for the omelet, which is so awesome and good. Making it right now. There it is. There's some of the other stuff you can order, which is like waffles, type of chocolate chip cakes, and you have some even French toast. Look at this, how awesome. I grabbed one for me and Gilda, since we both like fresh fruit, so we could both pick out of here. Yeah. In a hard rock hotel cup. This is crunchy bacon. I asked for a little crunchy bacon and the guy knew me very well. So we just dug into the pancakes. What do you think? A plus. They're so good. So, so good. Mine have chocolate chip on it and they're like chef kiss. So as you can see, there's nothing left on the waffles here that were that good. And what I love of them is that they make them right there on the spot. Whatever you order, they'll make them for you. So it's not like it's been sitting there. It's as fresh as it can be. And it was awesome. Breakfast in America. How cool is that? I think my big brother actually has this record. Here is my custom omelet. I put bacon, ham, and American cheese in it. And this thing is huge. And again, this is part of the, uh, of the breakfast buffet. So this is, I got no words. Look at this, this is awesome. 
He's taking away on the bacon over there. Yes, I am. <laughs> the crunchy bacon. Skill goes number three and my number four. We can do a little cheers. I'm, I'm one ahead. Cheers. So I've never been a huge fan of French toast. Don't ask me why. It's not my jam. Anyway, no pun intended. Um, anyway, so they have this Elvis French toast that everybody comments about. Everybody says, you got to try French toast the way Elvis used to do. So here I am trying Elvis French toast. I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay. And then I guess I could pour it. Dip it instead? Okay. Dip it. Dip it is good. Dip it is good. Let's see. To whoever recommended this, I hate you now. This is really good. Really good. I love peanut butter. And it's so good. It's so good. I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> Shouldn't have done this, but... Okay, let's give it a try. That's weird. That's weird. Louise hates peanut butter. Mm. Like, hates it. The banana's fine on top of the bread, but the, the, the peanut butter, no. Sorry, not for me. Yeah, no. Uh, for yours. those of you who don't like peanut butter, maybe this isn't for you. For those of us that love peanut butter, this is definitely something you need to try. So our bill has arrived, and as usual, let me just slide it on over there. It's got the, there you go. You can do it. Never fails. Never fails. That's so cool. Cut out. Oh, wow. What do, you, what, what do you have to say about the place? It's amazing. Um, the food is A++. Definitely. The taste, everything is so good. And if you're ordering mimosa and you usually drink more than two, get the special. Um, yeah. The 25, right? Yeah, it was 25 my chat at the beginning. 25 and you can pick mimosa, sangria, or... Or Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary, yeah. Um, we definitely picked the mimosas. Um, I think you can exchange yeah, for one another. Yeah, she said you can mix and match. You can mix and match, but we stick with mimosas because they were so good. Yep. Like, I have no words to describe how good yeah. this was. Yeah, and it was really well worth the money, the yeah. ambience, the music was, like again, this is the hard rock. So they had music in there from the 80s, like Boston playing and Super Tramp. It was, it was awesome. It, it was, it was really good. It's a fantastic place. If you yes. get a chance to come and visit, I highly recommend it. Yeah. It's very good. Okay guys, so that's it here from the Hard Rock Cafe Hotel in Orlando. So make sure you check it out. Until then, Bye. see ya. Bye. The band Warren. From the band Warren. Oh. That's cool. With uh, Jenny Lane, the, the singer who actually sadly passed away. And those are the members of the uh, of the band. Oh, no the cool wonder they have it underneath. Oh, yeah, thing. exactly. I don't know if if in this hotel they do weddings, but this staircase would make a kick-ass wedding photo oh like yeah it's, it's such grand so amazing yeah like, and i could see like for example like they would be probably on the top and then everybody all the grooms oh, and bridesmaids on the bottom, bottom or oh something. my god look at this look at it it's so beautiful look at the, look at the, the chandelier saxophones this would make such a killer photo oh yeah Look at this. It's amazing. I love it. That's pretty cool. It is super incredible. Yeah. Look at this. Amazing fans and everything. Yeah. There's even like a little bar here at the end. You got the TV going, some I sports. Love it. Look at this. Wow. It looks like there's another bar down there. Mm 
I bet you it does full service of food and everything. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. I love the shape of the pool. It doesn't look too big. Yeah. It's like, like And there's waves. a slide and everything over there. I like it. And who's this? Oh, David, David Bowie. Bowie. Look at that. Yeah, which is classic school school outfit. That's what he always wears when he plays. He's probably like 60 something and he still wears like a school outfit. Interesting. Who we have here? Oh, Carrie Underwood. Underwood. Look at that. Tony Iommi is Black he Sabbath. Knows. Yeah, I know he is, definitely. He knows. That's the Riff Master. Look at him right there. He's looking down on the, on the guitar. Okay, I was like, no, that's not a, a, a 12, but yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Nelly Furtado, Alison Morissette, Barbara Sepulveda. And she, you and said, white zombie. This is another hard rock cafe. That is so cool. Yes. New York, Sydney, Mumbai, Moscow, Dubai, London. London, Moscow. Oh, God, this is so cool. Gene that's, Simmons. That's a guitar? Yeah, yeah, it's a bass guitar. They say he's got the longest tongue in the business. See the tongue? Yeah. What do gross. you think of that? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Nobody needs to. I hate to see him food, chew food. There you go. Let me see if I can. There you go. Without the, without the, uh, the you, tongue. It's like a foot long or something like that. Can you imagine eating food? <laughs> no. Just no. <laughs> this looks like pajamas. Look at that from the king. Black nylon pajamas were owned and worn by the king himself. There you go, you were right. It's actually his pajamas. Okay. There you go. Don't get me wrong, I like Elvis Presley, but I don't know why we're featuring his pajamas. Okay, no offense, but this dress looks really cheap. It just doesn't say anything. Well, the material is really... Cool. Wow, well, yeah. Not to mention, it's already... I don't know. It's not my thing. And oh my here God, we go. Anna. Look at that. Wow, it's been a while since I've heard I've that I've heard of name. these guys, yeah. Nice. And Shakira. Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. Look at that. We got a guitar here from Bon Jovi, signed and everything, and then Scott Ian, which is from Antrax. Another guitar over here. And these are, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Rolling Stones. There you go. There you go. Beggar's Banquet. Stones use this painting as a backdrop when they perform at Hyde Park, July 7, 1969. Many fans consider this concert a memorial to the late Brian Jones who yeah. died two days ago. Yeah. It looks like a lot of leather. That's gotta be hot. It looks hot, uncomfortable. Exactly. And quite frankly, ugly. I'm sorry, guys. I know people are gonna hate on me, but I just... It's not my style. It's but just, she, that's just it. But she's one of the defining artists of the 21st century. Well, good for her. I'm, I'm really happy, but it's, this doesn't do it for me. Look at that. A lot of leather there, and that, I guess, could get easily tied up. You got this hallway of other famous artists. Yes. Look at that. That's uh, their share of sevens. That's the drummer from Journey. Yeah, James Bond. Oh, that's no. This is um. Oh, sorry. Sinatra. Oh, sugar, man. That beat bit me. This is Cher. Look at Cher in her earlier days. I know. I saw it. She looked so good. Frank Zappa. Yeah. Doesn't he own a shirt? 
I don't know who these guys are. Oh, this is the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, two, two of the three. Oh, I no don't. Clue. No clue. I'm sorry. This is Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. There's Rod Stewart just hanging okay. out there. And the late Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. Yeah. This is cool. This is cool. 